Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, Python will connect to a MySQL database to query data. This is brought to you from the ojamboshop.com learning Python course and learning PHP course. Data can be queried using the MySQL connector. Guinea will be used as IDE. So in here you can see I have PHP Miami just to show you the database structure. It's called database table is called students and I have three fields, SID, name, and age. If you go to the browse, we can see some data in here. There's John, Jane, and Darcy, and they have the ages there. So I want to be able to query all this data. You see this, the last data, the SID3, uh, student ID3, you can see it has a, a, a apostrophe. This is for SQL injection. We'll do an example of that since today we're using Python. Okay, let's get started. Um, I have given you the background, but I'm here in the command line because you can install the MySQL connector by using the simple command pip and whatever the current, uh, let's actually install, and the name will be MySQL connector python. That's what I did on my Linux system. You can do the same thing in Windows or max or anything like that so get that out of the way so we start here after it is installed you import it this import mysql connected and that's one of the good things about using the ide is that you're able to see some of uh, help the helper so after we import it um, you should run this you know, see if we can compile this and execute this if there's no error that means it imported successfully next we want to connect to the database so mysql connect nectar dot connect And the host, in my case, the host, host is localhost because I'm locally. If it was a remote, it would add the proper IP or domain. And the name for my, the username is tutorial just for locally. And the password is to pass me. And finally, the database name. I also call it tutorial. Okay, we're done there. Then the f we need to create this cursor. So to be based on the database connection. So the cursor. The cursor dot execute execute then on my select statement select SID name page from the table name which is students and we get the result my cursor dot fetch all then we just loop through them just print make sure there's no problem here and then we will excuse you see all the results are here john jane darcy and the ages and the sids now if i only wanted to get one of those uh, one of the uh, a specific one so for example this will stay the same and let's say I wanted to get Darcy so I'll say where name equals uh, maybe it was D -R -I, Darcy yeah there we go see the problem here is because um, I'm already using double quotes and I can't use double quotes, I have to escape it. 
However, there's a better way. So for example, if you say, oh, just use single quotes, okay? If single quotes about Darcy also has a single quote there. So a better way would be to escape them. So what I will do is I will use, uh, this is actually one good thing about Python. It has this feature built in. You don't need to escape them yourself, like in other programming languages, or some other programming languages. So you can simply have Darcy in a tuple like uh, thing and that's it and this will escape it so you, you can imagine uh, um, if I had a separate variable for Darcy or if this was data coming in from an input usually from a form or a, on a website or even an application so this way this forces it to be a string so obviously the name Darcy is a string if there's something else you'll do the same thing like integer and others so let's try this and see, now I'm able to get Darcy without any problems. So this is the same results as before, the three results. If you want to get the full article, it's available at jumbo.com slash python hyphen database hyphen mysql hyphen select hyphen select statement. And as you can see here, I made it pretty easy for you. This is the commands that we used. You can also use another command if you want to count how many rows you have. You can execute and connect. And you can expand this if you want to see how to install it using the pipe command or pip. Python, this is the code here and this is the other code for escaping and just for SQL injection. This is the PHP my admin, the structure, the data. And this is the Guinea IDE. And this is the results just like today and this is the video you're watching and of course if uh, this is the end of the this is an advanced version of python i'm teaching you so if you want to learn basic python get your beginner course that's learning python and that's available at here at or jumboshop.com until the end of 2024 you can get 20% off using the promo code school S-C-H-O-O-L and if you have any problems I'm an experienced program I can also help you for example if you want one-on-one uh, -on -one tutorials it will be at jumboservices.com and down here you can get one-on-one -on -one custom made tutorials just for you any programming language Python, PHP, Java, JavaScript, HTML5 rest if you want an application Again, I can help you with that. I can make one for you or I can help you create your own in any platform. It could be the mobile platform, desktop platform, web platform. And of course, if you have any problems with the website or if you want a new website, you need some hand-holding, if your website has been hacked, database issues, yeah, you can contact me. If you're in North America, use this phone number. If you are Elsewhere, you can call direct or you can use the contact form. I'll come back to that in a second. So if you also want to learn PHP instead, you go to jumboshop.com slash learning hyphen PHP. Same thing, you can get 50%, 20% uh, off, sorry, uh, until the end of 2024 using the promo code school, S-C-H-O-O-L. And or if you prefer to learn a different way, you can also go to, you can get the courses, uh, just the books without the, because the courses come with an IDE, they come with a compiler, come with Python or PHP built in, in your web browser. If you prefer to do it all by yourself, I do have just the course material by itself here. You can you, you, you can do it on yourself, install your own Python and have your own ID or if you want to use the command that's fine. So learning Python, it's available on Amazon. If you have a Kindle Unlimited, it looks like it's going to be free for a while. Uh, you should take a, an opportunity to take advantage of this. And of course, if you want PHP, it's available on Amazon as well. The links are in the description and or you can just go to the article and just click on them here. And going back to Jumbo Services, again, it's one of the languages if you want to be taught one-on-one -on -one, or if you need any just simple tutorials, 
You can also go to the contact page here, just fill in your information, put in your budget, your time frame, and I'll get back to you in about 24 hours or less. Thank you.